Look at what do you feel like the flaws are for OG? Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker. Your hero. Okay. Well, it is something that farms, and it's left all the way until the end of the draft after a first pick Razor and a Death Prophet that base damage is 60 is a lot when you're trying to trade against a Tusk who, like, he is a brawl. He wants to be doing that sort of thing. So maybe, especially now, considering they it's, uh, they saw the Spirit Cypher not level. Okay. Always Rolling, man. I don't know who's going to come out on top. Japs, he doesn't have the Fairy Fire to play with, and Yuragi swipes for his blood in our game one. Deep. For Jabs, he wants to make sure he's level 3, and he wants to make sure that he does it safely. Here we go again. This time, maybe for Tiger. They're about to get the level 2, but the creeps on falling are so close to finding that little bit of experience required for Tiger to work with with the re- away. The thing with this, uh, it's particularly level 3 that you're looking for on this bot lane. Against an IO, lane. you want to be able to, like, help us. the time dilation. The shards are gonna hold him out of the mode, but you're off. Has been filled, my good sir, so... Bunch of damage being dealt down bottom. But we do see no rotations from that just yet. Top lane, no Tiger. Gonna be in some trouble. Three levels that DJ is able to Go play with that extra fight. little bit of they're gonna be cautious though yeah. because Bile is playing with the coil. The TPs are gonna come out. Seb has already anticipated this with his rotation. Looking to play in the naval BZM, at least to keep him alive long enough to get the zip back to the higher ground. And even Tiger's looking to play tag as well. And jump back in instead. They're looking to get aggressive onto DJ, but he's got the snowball to be able to buy some time. Up to the high ground he goes. BZM's got some meta to work with, but they won't continue to chase instead. My puck does not excel at taking okay. out. So. BZM, he's gonna zip on in. Jabs, playing with two points in the spirit track and needs to find a second target. Bro, he's gonna look to walk in, but Jabs, he's taking too much damage here. Fnatic will not be able to connect to keep the Death Prophet alive. A great rotation coming up from BZM. And look at this Tiger. He's even looking to get involved as well. The plus one kill that OG are so good at finding time and time again. Amar though, bot side, he's moving fast, but he should be slowing down now, considering the people have just died. He gets back down to make sure that they're securing these targets and blowing people up. And speaking of Tomato. He's just starting to now, but Tomato. Whoa, nice rotation. Bile drops the kill onto three. They'll get the kill onto Tomato, but what is the price to pay? The Seb is not going to be able to escape. DJ is on point. A beautiful shot to block the escape. Well, that Dream Coil. Uh oh, not only the core, but they've got the chaotic offering as well to work with. Bile lands the ultimate. Oh, they cancel the relocate as well. Gubu, the perfectly placed golem, is going to be able to stop the defensive factor of getting BZM out. And now Yuragi, he's time walked in as well. Yuragi's going to be in a little bit of trouble, considering about dropping the corner speed and turning him around. The shards is off the mark, though, so they will not be able to protect Bryle, but they haven't killed the puck just yet. Bryle, still alive, gets the jaunt down for the tower. They see him. Should finally finish the job. So OG, what? two cores go around his own farm. Radiance bottom tower. Really want to try and get aggressive. The double tower. Look at this, bottom lane, they just blow up Amari. Now Tiger's in trouble as well, Fnatic, making sure this tower doesn't go for free. And back in the river though, Jabs, he's gonna be in some trouble. Playing with the Spirit Siphon, Dubu nearby as well, with the three points in the Shadow Word. Is the sustain going to be enough? It's not. DJ with a snowball and cooldown, can't buy coming. some time for the Death Prophet, but the rest of Fnatic are looking to rotate. They will make sure that is not a free pickup. Mars even considering about getting involved as well. This is going to be difficult for Fnatic. They have to make sure they don't get jumped. Pike is going to lead into the pit with Bryle. He's able to reposition. And now with the Chrono from Yoragi on the three. But where is the damage follow up? BZM's going to whip the zip the into the middle. But they're barely tickling. Jabs it up to the north. The rock gets dropped. And it controls OG. They can't escape from the mouth of the pit. As Fnatic, they He's lose one. But they'll take so much more away from OG. OG. BZM just gets a little bit of mana back thanks to the soaring, but Bryle is on pursuit. It's gonna make sure BZM will not escape as Fnatic continuing. I take a tower, so it's a tier two tower. They're just gonna rely on that one to be able to do that and what's pushing out for them. Bryle, he's got the blink and haste to be able to close the distance. BZM's Found gonna him. be in trouble. They caught him out. The Storm Spirit's got some heroes playing behind him, but there's nothing OG can do. Once again, Fnatic across the map with ease. They're gonna be cautious top lane though. Jabs is by himself for the moment. Tomato is actually nearby. Look at the damage of the Saltator. Oh, you're arguing. Got him. Oh no. Jabs. 
explored though by the the bottom outpost. Should be able to scout out Brow moving bottom. They need to run into Seb. They haven't caught the 15 seconds on the reload though. Line. Tomato's gonna be able to find him and oh look at that. A defensive chrono forced out, but Dubu drops the rock. They've got the snowball to cancel the TP as well. As OG, they were playing with the ward by the outpost. They knew that. Can Sphere gonna do him a world of good. Going up against the uh, the Storm Spirit, of course. His, him as well as Dubu are Once the main targets for that jump. Onto the toss. Jab's gonna be mid by to try and break the combo. And Jab's gonna be playing with the Exorcism as well, but the rest of Fnatic a little bit too late to connect. DJ's gonna be able to blink to the northern side. They Dubu's still haven't coming. dealt with Jab's just yet, but there's the rock. Holds them back. The damage. in the middle as well, and they get rid of the faceless void. No threat of the corner sphere to turn this team fight back around as Fnatic. They'll find a second. Moving into the tree line, they go as they can have. The Razor go in first because he's incredibly tanky and he's got the Aegis. We can have the, the Puck go in first because we've got the Dream Coil. Island. He gets the jump. Ooh, nice chrono. Beautiful chrono from Yuragi and they're going to be able to bring down Bryle. Okay, OG. Can they continue with the start they've had so far? They're going to try and chain this into the task kill for BZM. He's got to be conscious of his mana pool because it's out. Tomato chases him down. They get a two for two. They'll look to Yuragi next. A BKB. And a time walk up to the high ground. Again, got to be counted out if they do get in. Ragi, he just time walked into the middle, and uh, Tiger, Tiger. He also just jumped up in the high ground as well. Looking to drop a ward down to be able to play with the information. It's enabling BZM to try and deal with the backline. The chrono's out. It's only on the jabs at the moment, but the BKB protecting him. And jabs, can they even get the kill to the death? But finally, Yuragi. The help of the Bashes is enough to secure the kill. They're going to try and turn their attention to Brow, but this slippery puck is not easy to control. Still, though, that's a buyback being used by. To have that vision Wild. control, but Brow, he feels invincible. This guy's ballsy. He's got DJ to be working with as well. Tomato's going to look to charge in the middle, but. It's a T4 Towers, lad. You have to pay some respect. The Fatal Bonds are onto multiple heroes, though. Look at Fnatic. They don't give a damn. They want them out of this game. They've had firm control. Oh, just a buyback. And into an instant dieback. And they've had enough as OG will tap out of game one. Fnatic with only two of their main members from the roster. Come in with three T's. Like, could Amar go the Wind Ranger? And then you go you know, something down those lines. Monkey King's all right. Is this an offlane monkey? We are about to find out. Yep, offlane monkey king. Oh, he saw the monkey running him. All right, Dubu. So we're gonna be in some trouble. Let's see if those null stats are gonna be enough to keep Dubu alive. And <laughs> not the case. Seb lines up the shackles, and they're gonna make sure they give first blood over to. I mean, this isn't a lane where you you want to be leveling up the unstable concoction too much. You might get one point into it just for when you eventually are going to look to rotate top lane as well. Shaman's going to be in trouble here. Jab's getting a lot of damage into Tiger. But the Bulwark currently on cooldown and Tiger's going to be okay again. It's going to be important for DJ to be able to find some items and at least some gold. Maybe a lot of that gold will hold that thought as Tiger. He's going to be running up the river, but DJ and Jabs both in prime position with the beautiful chain control. Jabs will wait for the last second to chuck out that spear, maximizing the sun control. Do last game with the double damage room with so much damage into the tower. So Fnatic recognize this. That's cool. All right. Top lane. Yo. Solo? Yes. Yeah, solo without even level six on Jabs. So that is... Oh, that's scary. He's got Catapult Wave as well, so he's going to shove it in and do a little bit of damage onto the tower. Bottom lane, Tomato. Going to be in some trouble. Amar is working with the Jinku stack. Seb's going to look to TP in as well. Tomato has some stick charges to be able to play with. DJ's going to look to enter the fight, but the damage oh, has so been close. dealt. And now You've got an Alchemist. Kind of want this game to go late. You've got a Shadow Shaman, one of the greedier supports in the game. So... Brown might be in a bit of work. trouble here. They need to bring the numbers on Fnatic to protect the jungle. They've got Dubu nearby, but Amar lines up the Boundless, and even BZM's nearby as well, so beautifully done from OG. Yeah, coming. Invading the jungle, but you can't dive too deep, because Jabs rotates in, slams down the arena with a beautiful lineup of the spear as well. It's OG, step too far inside Fnatic's territory, and they will be penalized for this, as Shab shows up with a gigantic rotation, keeping Bryle alive. Amar doesn't think like normal people. He just wants to hit creeps a lot of the time. Okay. <laughs> just team it straight into multiple heroes. OJ doing a very good job. Meanwhile, top lane as well. Tomato, he's in a bit of trouble. 
Yuragi playing around with the Replicate, so he's able to steal the damage out of the Static Link and jabs. And that arena is going to do nothing as meanwhile under the T1 Tower mid. Got the air radiance up for Bryle. He's going to continue to scale, of course, but yeah, this is something where he's Uchi, in trouble they here. Be the aggressors. Mash TPs. Are they going to be fast enough though? Bryle, can he get the concoction off? It stuns up. But it's not going to be enough. Dubu with the answer, the rock, and they get the morphling. Okay. So, Fnatic, they don't keep Bryle alive. The TP is a little bit too long. You know that OG are going to try and up the tempo against you, so it's very important that you've got the tools in place to allow the rest of the team to connect through. Your team fight is still very strong. A blame jabs. The team's starting to connect to the Mars, but they're going to be a little bit too far away, and the coil will make sure jabs does not get enough distance from the pursuing members on OG, and they instantly got to look to smoke as well. They're hunting down Brawl along with Dubu. They'll get the shackles to lock the warlock into the river, so nice plays from OG. Looking to continue Tao, though. Are they going to go for this? All right, that's the call. Oh, the They've got to be cautious about the multi-shot, though. Amar's going to be protected thanks to the bonus armor coming up for the Wukong's command, but a shot oh, from Sam onto two. And look at the damage ramp up. They bring down the first line, but Jobs is in. Arena holding four, but where's the damage? It's going to come through finally once Brawl is able to respawn, but BCM and Mar, they're still in fighting shape as you're arguing. Wait. The graphs. Got a smoke coming through here, so don't want to miss anything. These two teams are about to collide oh. into each other, and they find they the, the spear. Gale Force is going to be a bit annoying, and look at them just charging towards Dubu's location. Another trying to deal shackle. with the Warlock before he drops the rock, but the core is going to leash them into place. They're going to be cautious about Bra because he's going to find the jump. He's got the Blink Dagger real, but where's the damage, Jabs? He enters the fight as well, slams down the arena. They'll target down the Monkey King, but the spells are on cooldown, so BZM is going to be able to have a I'm free fight for the moment, what? but he's going to be cautious, though, inside the Acid Spray. BZM, the Radiance almost the radiance. ticking down. Jabs tries to find the spear, but BZM sidesteps that attempt. A messy fight. It's the wards, there's the vision. The trying to bring down Tomato. The, the boundless strike from afar. They'll get the BKB and the rock as well. Jab's just going to be in with the combo, the attribute shift. It's enough to keep Yuragi alive for the moment. It's still going to be stuck inside the Miggle, and Yuragi doesn't wave for him out. We're still on cooldown for the last second, so the Morphling killed off along with the Tier 1 Tower. A big win for Fnatic, but OG, they feel like they're in fighting shape. They're going to jump in. An easy kill onto DJ, but they've got the answer. Tiger's going to go down. A one for one, but OG, they don't want to stick around. A buyback coming up from the Shadow Shaman. Seb's going to be able to cover the retreat with the help of the Gale Force. Wow, the blink. Running around on division. Oh, they should be able to catch him, and they will. Except the sacrificial lamb, Amar makes it out along with BZM. But Fnatic really forced down some early BKBs and they might be able to do so. Oh, look at that. Tomato pops the BKB instantly as he sees OG and they're going to look to get out, in fact, on Fnatic. They don't want to take the support. engagement, but they might be forced to. Brawl, nice blink away. DJ will come at a cost. Tiger's already on that plus one, looking to catch up to Brawl, and he gets him. Gets in range to be able to cancel the TP. Fnatic are now in a position where they're forced to fight. Arena to buy some time, blocking off the escape avenue, but DJ. Oh, Jabs is out. And Bryle, oh, he will not be as fortunate. Addition as well. Oh, Tomato. He's oh, just going to charge crazy. up the high ground. It's risky when he doesn't have heroes to play with. Down behind the T2 tower as well. Amar, he gets a freebie. They're going to look to drop the rock. Amar control the vicinity with the Wukong's command. He's got the bonus armor to be playing with as well, but is it going to be enough to keep the monkey alive? It looks like it is. Amar with the mischief dodge, and now they're going to consider about turning to Brile. Amar's going to be cautious, though. Concoction along with the Radiance. Brile jumps in, but under the tier 2 it's going to show... Oh, my lord, the reactions with the blink. He just showed, I think, on the orb, and they're beelining down to bottom. This is an opportunity now for OG to be able to take the fight as Brawl's out of position, Dubu's out of position as well, as OG pounce on that opportunity. It was a cute attempt. You know, they if they caught that puck, that would have been enormous for him. Take away the gem, take away that huge kill streak, give it over to the Alchemist, but this is what they were needing to be able to go up onto that high ground. <sighs> they into, they're ready to the puck. They're going to be able to okay. catch Nut, Jabs and DJ in combination together. They get the gem. And Jabs, he doesn't have a TP. 
So he's going to have to run it off with the BKB. Tomato TP is in Tomato. What? Hang on. I don't know if you can be here. Instant tip out of Bs yet before they even get the kill. And now they've also ran into traps. They said once again, looking to hunt down that plus one kill. And then we'll do so with ease. BZM comes at a D at all. And you're not playing okay. with this blink oh, as well on the shaman. Oh, the oh, they got it. No hesitation to scan. We were able to recognize that someone was being cheeky in the tree line. So Jabs jumps in, drops down the arena, and it's monkey down. As a, a blast rig, so he's just in trouble sure mid. Down. Tiger's in, yeah. Farmer too aggressive, and OG gonna look to jump him instantly. Dubu might be able to drop the rock defensively, buying some valuable seconds for the rest of reinforcements to show up, and they've got the control into the Morphling. Asan's gonna be able to prevent the chain control. So Yoragi's able to reposition in the north end. He's got the double damage for him to take this fight as well. And Spear's gonna push him to the left side. They should be able to deal with Tomato afterwards as well. They know the BKB's on cooldown, so OG will jump back into the middle. Brawl though wants to turn this team fight around, but Yoragi is playing with the Satanic. So Brawl's only tickling the Morphling. Yoragi is gonna continue going. He's got the static link, a buyback's gonna be forced out, but Brawl's in trouble. BZM along with Yuragi diving deep, and meanwhile they've run into jabs as well. As OG swarming inside the base, BZM will not That's stop game. there. On to Tomato they go, and then we're gonna consider about diving the fountain. Oh, look at BZM being all cheeky. Oh. They're going to wait it out, see if they're forced to go in, and yeah. Yeah, as soon as they start hitting the tier fours, GG gets forward. So it's a 1-1 series between OG and Fnatic. Uh, pretty fitting, right, considering how close both those two teams as well as TSM.